Yo, what's going on people? Right, so we're back in DaVinci Resolve Studio again and we're going to be making this flaming Uzi which will be sick for your music videos or whatever else you want to use it for but let's just jump straight into it. So you want to make a fusion composition. Come to your fusion panel, drag the Mac 10, Mac 10 Uzi, same thing to me. Um, create a merge 3D. Create a renderer 3D and drag that to the media out. I'll add these assets in the description, so don't worry, you'll be able to get your hands on them as well. Come to FBX Mesh 3D, scroll down, let's get this nice and small, literally 0.3. Let's come to our transform, let's drag this up a little bit, let's rotate um, the actual gun. Gonna rotate it and tilt it towards the camera and just down a little bit maybe a bit further like that and that way the shadows when we add lights uh, will look a little bit better so come to your man 3d type in spotlight click off type in spotlight again come to renderer enable lighting drag mode 3d and let's just bring our light all the way back you know what, I'm going to add this sort of uh, penumbra angle just to sort of get uh, the tapered edges. And on this other one, I'm going to drag up and back, but tilt downward. So we want to change the X value. Let me come back to this angle thing and just fade it as well. And when we change these colors, let's sort of go for a, a purpley bluish. It'll start to look really nice. You know, I might even bring that down to a white. Okay, come over to FBX Mesh 3D, uh, type in Alt or Control Space, sorry. Um, and type in Replace Material. Come to your effects, templates, um, fusion um, and shaders, and let's just drag on this chrome. And then connect that to the replace material let's just ungroup it for a sec and have a look we can dissect it a little bit um, this looks nice here I'm going to maybe bring these further back or change the intensity maybe You know, and that looks nice and chrome-like. Now that we've done that, we're going to do the hard task of adding in these flames. This is um, time-consuming, but it's part of the tutorial. So let's add our flames in. Once that's merged on, you want to then control space and add a luma key. That looks nice. Let's add a transform now. Let's rotate this, size it down. And let's uncheck the use size and aspect. Yeah, it's going to reset this, um, the sizing I've just done. But let's just manipulate it so it sort of sits around the back edge. Let's just get that angle correctly. Always hold the numbers using these, just it, it flings it up way too far and can't get an accurate sort of value. Let's just so it looks like it wraps around. Now you're going to want to use Control V, Control V um, your media in and do exactly the same. Quick way is just sort of copy everything across. Hold control to select multiple nodes and you're going to shift them back in. It's a pain in the ass, I know, but um, there's probably a quicker way of doing it as well, but it's what works for me. So <laughs> that's what we'll be doing. Now let's add this to the back. Kind of connecting the flames. And now maybe we add one more. 
And let's repeat the tedious uh, task again. Let's add one to the front. Let's just bring that size in a bit. Can sort of manipulate it like so. Now this looks nice, but you're probably wondering how do we blend it all together? Well, we use false color. We're going to do a creative mode. We're going to come to color temperature. And we're going to go down, scroll down to the bottom and drag this to black. And you're also going to unselect these values in the scale and legend. Now we've got something here that looks cool, but it's not the right colors. So we want to change all these. So you can see how it gets light, uh, lighter to darker. So our darkest color we'll start with, which will be our red. Then we'll change to an orange. Then we'll change this to a yellow, sort of a darker yellow. And then maybe we move into the whites. The whites will glow nicely when we add glow. And then, as you can see, you can get some kind of wacky looking images. I mean, this works uh, any way you like it, depending on what you want to achieve and how you want to sort of manipulate the colors to get the look. But I think suggesting uh, or sticking with sort of the way this works will probably be easier for this tutorial. Drag the top to black. And we're close. I think it might be this might be too white. Let's go. Let's see what this red looks like. Looking good. It's very yellow at the moment. I'm actually going to make this more red. So it's a lot of fiddling about, as you can tell, and sort of blending all the colors together. I'm just going to change the front one which is this just going to make this a little bit bigger so come to your transform you know what i'm going to do i'm going to select my media in and mask it a bit so just add a rectangle you can kind of drag the rectangle like so, and then we can soften the edge. Let's also just take this other one and stretch it out a bit. Now this looks nice. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to add our glows. And as you can tell, when the image or the background goes black, everything starts to really come together. So now play around with the glows. Maybe add another glow. So two. to really give it that flaming sort of look. You can see here towards the end, we start to see the edge of the mask. You can simply come back in and add another rectangle and mask, mask them off. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'll just leave it like this. This looks good. Um, before the false color, I'm going to add a color corrector. See if we can adjust these colors even further. So if we crunch the contrast, 
so it starts to come together a little bit more. It glows quite heavy. I'm going to bring it down a bit. So I just come to settings and blend. I'm also going to add a film look creator. And you get this nice elation. I am going to come to clean slate, but I'm going to come back to um, halation and enable my halation. Bring this down. Maybe make it more yellow. Now let's add a grain. You know what? I'm going to add the grain on the film um, look creator, which is found in here. You just up the grain a bit so you start to blend everything together. Bring the size down. And also, we're going to add a flicker. Just bring the amount up and the rate. You can play around with these settings to really get what you're looking for. If you want to add an extra flicker, just come to Flicker Edition. What I like to do is bring the range down, the speed up, and the pause and length really, really small. So that looks cool. Bring the range down even further. So it's really, really sort of dim, but you can just see it sort of flashing as if a fire were. We'll keep that for now. We're going to add another color corrector. Let's see what we can do with our colors. That purple looks kind of cool. I'm actually going to shift the color corrector off and just add this after the um, <clears throat> after the film look creator. Now there's a few other things you can do. You can manipulate this in any way. You can animate this. You can do whatever you want with it. But you've probably learned a few things from this. But the fundamentals are really quite simple. It doesn't look simple. But we have only took a number of steps to achieve this. And are simply just stacking different, um, different effects on top of each other. To get that sort of uh, digitized um, flaming sort of 3D render look. And if we go back to our main screen this is what it looks like now for the interest of this tutorial it was done quite quickly but really do take your time um, you can add on as many different things to sort of give it that interesting look i mean we can add sort of embers on here i've got an ember thing here we can just sort of drag the media in hold shift come to a transform once we manipulate this so it's orientated towards or in the right direction of the Uzi and then we just sort of go screen. Well, we want to make these a little bit more visible, kind of like here. And then you can repeat, copy and repeat and keep adding and changing and mixing up these effects to get something a little more, a little bit more polished and defined. But yeah. That's pretty much it guys for this tutorial, um, this is really cool, um, there'll be potentially another tutorial on actually animating this and doing this with 3D planes and sticking the flames to the gun, but for the sake of a 2D sort of graphic, um, we can change the size, bring it down, make it look, um, you know, look, look a, a little bit smaller and stuff, you can do that as well, you see there's edges here. Um, just mask those out and soften the edges and everything will look a bit cleaner um, You can also add say like my CRT machine Which will bring everything even more together now You want to bring the pixel size really small Let's bring the gain down that glow and Like you start to get that really cool digitized graphic element that um, you know will look nice on anything will look good as just sort of a, a standalone post on social media or 
or even in your music videos whatever you want to do with it the uh you know the possibilities are endless we bring the pixel aspect up on this the good thing about my crt machines you can manipulate the pixels to how you want you can rotate them you can adjust them um it gives you full control pixel aspect bring that up you start to get these dots And there you go that looks pretty damn cool very uh simple quite a long tutorial but um yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this one head over to bluetooth.com if you want to see um any of the plugins and what you can achieve with them and um, there's plenty to look through and i'll be releasing uh, a few tutorials every week from now on so yeah stay tuned and i'll catch you in the next one peace